What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Pan. Today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can implement SEO on your own WordPress website. And of course, you're not just going to be implementing SEO on your entire website, but you also want to focus on every individual page that you post in order to optimize it for the search engines. So I'm gonna be teaching you some of the most valuable SEO tips that I can give you so that you can take these tips and go ahead and implement them for your own website or for your clients' websites. I'm gonna be using one of the best free SEO plugins called Yoast SEO. If you have any other plugins, no worries. They pretty much all serve the same purpose. But for the purpose of this video and my client's website, I will be using Yoast. And I will be going through a step-by-step -step process on how I actually implement these SEO optimizations on a blog post that I'm actually going to publish on my client's website. So without further ado, Let's get started. All right, guys, now that we are in the WordPress dashboard, the first thing you want to do is if you don't already have Yoast SEO, just go ahead and go into plugins, go to add new, and then just go over to search and just type in Yoast, and it should be the first one to come up. And here we go, it is this one. So if you don't have it, just go ahead and install it. Let me go ahead and update it really quickly and once you activate it then it's going to let you actually do the seo right after you activate yoast seo what i'm going to go ahead and do is i already have a draft that i created here in the post section for my client's website and what we're going to do is pretty much just copy and paste an article that i got written for his website right so let's go ahead and copy and paste the content on it and i'll be right back with you guys all right guys, so I went ahead and copy and pasted the article as you can see right here. So the first thing we wanna focus on is on this title, right? This title looks very bland and looks very boring, right? All it says is types of landscaping rocks for landscaping. So let's go ahead and add in some words that are really going to make this title pop, right? Cause we want people to want to click on our search result, right? That is the whole reason of doing content marketing to bring in more visitors and more traffic to your website, right? So something that you can do here is simply do, our title is going to be the eight best types of landscaping rocks in 2020, right? We're trying to focus on 2020 and we have our focus keyword, which is best types of landscaping rocks, right? And then I always like to just go ahead and pretty much use the same title for the h1 so if i go into here just go into drop down go to headers and go ahead and press h1 over here so this is going to make it our h1 but we need to pretty much duplicate what we did over here so let's just do that really quickly all right so we got our all right so we got our title and header one done so pretty much What's left from here is to actually add the header two, the header threes and so forth on the actual content. And then later on, we're actually gonna go in and change the meta title and the meta description, right? But now that we have our H1, we can move into our H2, right? So what we basically wanna do is create the next header that we can find and make that the H2. And then we're gonna find the other header and we're going to make this into an H3. And now each of our different types of rocks are all going to be a H4, okay? We want to keep these consistent, right? Because Google could potentially put these names into their snippet, right? If we want to get that position zero. And this is a great way to ensure that you can grab that Google snippet by making, by making each of these titles the same header tag, right? They're going to tell Google that this is a list of the best types of rocks for landscaping. So we're gonna go ahead and just quickly make all of these H4s. Let's go ahead and head edit the meta title and the meta description in the Yoast SEO plugin, right? So the way you find Yoast SEO is you just scroll down. This is the section that you're going to actually do your SEO optimizations, right? Now you can include your focus keyword. This basically just means that Yoast is going to give you recommendations on what you should do regarding this focus keyword. Now this can get very annoying because it will show up these red and 
green lights if you do something good or if you do something wrong. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that you need to get a green light on each of these things because most of the times it's really not possible, but you at least wanna do the majority of these. I'm going to show you all the important optimizations that you need to do in this video, right? Regarding what Yoast SEO tells you, regarding what Rank Math tells you, I'm going to let you know everything that you need to know. So, so you can add your keyword, but I'm not going to. So let's go ahead and go into edit snippet, right? And here we want to get rid of the URL, right? So all we have to do to get rid of this is just simply delete and delete, right? So because this is telling us that it's kind of short, I want to go ahead and further optimize this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include in parentheses with images, right? Because we do have images of the rocks and of the different types of settings that the rocks can be used in. So this might entice people to want to click on our blog, right? Because we're not only adding content, but we also have images to supplement our piece of content with. And let's go ahead and take a look at the slug. So for the slug is basically what the URL is going to look. Now these are, are noticeable on Google. So you do want to make sure that these URLs are optimized, not only for Google, but for the users, right? And what you usually want to do is include your main keyword in the slug, right? Or URL. Now you don't want to make this extremely long, right? Because then it's just going to look really bad. And Google has said numerous times that it prefers shorter URLs, right? So go ahead and just try to fit in your main keyword. And if you don't know what URL you need to use, just go ahead and do a Google search for your main keyword and see whoever is ranking and see what URLs they're using, right? This is going to give you a great idea of what type of URL you can use. So for this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and put, let's do a best rocks for landscaping. All right, that looks good. And for the meta description, now this, this description is very important because it's going to entice a searcher to want to click on your listing, right? So this needs to include something specific about your piece of content, but also have a call to action that's going to entice them to want to click on this article in order to read more, find out more information, right? Let me quickly type up a meta description. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I have finished the meta description. And what I simply wrote was, are you looking for the best rocks to create your next landscaping project with? Here you can find the top eight rocks for your next project. Read more here, right? So we're, we're pretty much starting off with a simple question that we can have a solution for, right? We're providing the answer. And then we just say here, you can find the top eight rocks for your next project letting them know that we provide the information that they may be searching for. And then we end with the call to action, read more here, right? Sometimes people would just need that extra push in order to actually go through with something, which is why it's a great idea to include a call to action at the end of your meta description, right? And that's pretty much it for the Yoast SEO part, guys. It's pretty much just doing your SEO title, your slug and your meta description, which are some of the most important on page factors for Google. And now what I'm going to do is simply add pictures for each one of these types of rocks. And I'm going to get back with you guys. Now, one thing I will say, whenever you're adding a picture, you're going to want to include the keyword or a description of that picture in the alt text, right? This is another piece of HTML code that Google reads in order to understand what that image is about in relevance to your main piece of content, right? So always include a keyword that, that really describes what that picture is about. All right, guys, now that we added all of our pictures that we want for this article. So the last thing that I'm gonna do for this blog is I'm going to outer link to two different reputable sources regarding this article, right? So what you wanna do is basically link out to other authoritative websites around the same topic, right? So let me go ahead and give you an example. So for decompose granite, what I did here is I simply did a Google search for decompose granite and I took the number one ranking article and linked out to it, right? As you can see, this article is all about decomposed granite, which we are talking about 
in our article and this kind of goes in depth on what exactly is this type of rock right and because they're ranking number one google is choosing this article as an authoritative blog in this industry right so they know that they know what they're talking about when it comes to decomposed granite which is why they are ranking number one and this is why i outer link to this article using this exact anchor text right and I usually do this two or three times depending on how long the article is, right? And I did another outer link with the anchor text lava rocks. And for this example, I actually outer link to Home Depot simply because, you know, Home Depot is a well-established brand and Google knows that they are an authoritative website and brand regarding this type of industry, right? So this is why you want to link out to bring up the relevancy and more importantly, the authority of this blog, right? So they know that we know what we are talking about when it comes to the best rocks for landscaping. And this is a very effective technique, guys. I do this on every blog that I write. And lastly, you want to interlink to your homepage or to other blogs that are related to this article, right? So if you can find other blogs that you've written about in the past about this certain topic or whatever topic you're writing about, go ahead and interlink somewhere in your article using a anchor text that you want to target, right? So whichever anchor text you link out to is going to bring relevancy for that keyword, right? And this is why it's so effective to pass authority throughout your website by interlinking your blog posts to each other, right? Pretty much the last step that we need to do is provide our categories and then our featured image, right? So first let's go ahead and choose our categories. So we're gonna go and choose blog and then let's go ahead and choose landscape. And then let's also choose garden, right? Because these rocks are also landscape, but also can be for your garden. So let's just choose both of those categories and then let's go ahead and add our featured image, which I already have downloaded. And it's gonna be this one. And as you can see, I named this file with our keyword. So you always want to include your keyword whenever you're saving your image, right? Whatever image it may be, whether it's the featured image or just the image in your blog post, go ahead and include a keyword in there and then go ahead and type it in again in the alt text, right? So let's do best types of rocks for landscaping. Set featured image. So that's pretty much it guys. Let's go ahead and preview what it will look like. Let's go ahead and preview. And it's generating the preview for us. All right guys, so here is our article. This is what it will look like as it is officially published. You can see, not bad, right? Pictures look nice. You can see our adder links right here. Not too bad for putting this together in just a few minutes, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And if you want to see anything in particular, feel free to also leave it below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for many more SEO videos, right? I'll see you guys in the next one.